fact, let me kind of zoom up so you can see. I'm just going to click one edge. I'm going to double click it. It selects the whole chain. Then I can come in and say edit form. And what I want to do is I want to change the scale of it. So if I were to say scale right now, watch what happens. It only does this top little region. Well, I want to kind of do the whole thing going from small to large. So again, this is where the soft modification really comes in. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to do a, a linear and um, let me undo. So let me start over. I'll click this edge. I'll do a soft modification. We'll do linear and you can see it, it's red pretty much the whole way. So I'm going to make this smaller. Let's try four. Yeah, let's go a little bit larger than that. Let's try six and that looks pretty good. Now watch what happens when I scale this. You're going to see that it's actually kind of tapering kind of down all the way. Okay. Now that's doing the linear. So let me undo. Oops. Let me, uh, I guess I can't undo just a second here. Edit form. I'll do the, I'm going to do the smooth transition. And let's do maybe like six, for example. Oh, that's probably why it remembered my weight. That's what was kicking me. Okay, so now you'll see, there we go. I'm getting more of a transition, a linear transition there. And that's what I want in this case. Okay, now again, I can play around with how, how far I want this to, to change. Um, I could also do, you know, a linear transition and that's going to, you know, kind of keep it more pointed like so. So that looks pretty good right there. I'll say okay. And I've now taken this complex shape and tapered it down. So I'm not having to use lofts or sweeps or anything like that. What I can do now is come in and say, um, for example, I want to grab all of those faces. And let's just start to rotate them to, to the left a little bit. You can kind of see how this is starting to, to shape our stem. And I can grab all of these faces and move them around. Maybe I'll grab these guys rotate that a little bit and pull it down and then finally maybe these guys draw rotate that around pull it a little bit like so okay then i might look at it from the top because now it's a perfectly straight um, transition or whatever well maybe now i'll come in here and say well let's rotate those to the side a little bit and pull them over and so I can come in and basically add some organic shape to this just by twisting and rotating and all this kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe we pull this over. Again, we want it to not look like a CAD result. We want it to look like an actual organic shape. So you can kind of see how it's twisting around as we're doing this. Okay. Then I'll... Um, show you a neat little tip here. So I'm going to double click on that edge. I don't want this to be open. So I'm going to right mouse click and it shows me the commands that make sense for what I've selected. I could insert an edge, I could bevel it, but you'll notice one of these says fill hole. So I'm going to say fill hole and it gives me some options here. Okay, so we have reduced star, it kind of fills in those shapes, but it kind of creates some weird ridges and stuff like that. We have fill star, which basically just kind of caps everything off. And then we have collapse, which gives us, you know, that result there, for example. In this case, I'm going to say fill star because we just kind of want it capped off. Now, if I were to check maintain creased edges, it's going to fill that face, but it's going to keep it perfectly flat. And in this case, I want it to be a little bit rounded off, like we kind of tore it off of the stock or something like that. But down here, let's do this one a little bit differently. I'll say fill hole. Um, we'll do the fill star, but let's go ahead and maintain the creased edges. We want to kind of keep that flat. I'll say okay.